A very big day for U.S. equity markets, the first trading day of a new month. It's off to a tremendous start. Investors seemingly happy to put the volatile and down month of August behind them. For a look at today's trading session, let's go to Liz Fobles live at the New York Stock Exchange. Liz. Hi to you, Kim. Well, all I could say is what a difference a day makes. One day after the biggest August plunge in nine years, a roaring rally, the biggest advance in almost two months. What's behind all this? Well, a report from the Institute of Supply Management management, showing that manufacturing expanded at a faster pace than forecast in August. Great news, simply because that's the industry that led the recovery. So signs of strength there certainly tempers concern that the global economy will slow. And speaking of the global picture, we saw better than estimated growth in Chinese manufacturing as well. Now, remember, losses yesterday were fueled by comments from the Fed saying that there may be greater risk to the economic recovery. So today, a welcome reprieve. We even saw strength here on Wall Street after companies unexpectedly cut 10,000 jobs last month, according to figures today from ADP Employer Services. The median estimate of 35 economists surveyed by Bloomberg News called for a gain of 15,000. So let's get you to the numbers, Pim. Take a look at that, boy. Can't miss that number there. 254-point advance on the Dow. The S&P and the Nasdaq also closing higher. All right. Now, auto sales, Liz, stalling last month. What's the information about automobiles? Yes, Pim. Well, I guess you have to take the good with the bad today. General Motors, Toyota and Ford, each reporting sales declines that were well over what analysts were looking for. GM sales dropping 25 percent. Ford deliveries sinking 11 percent. Now, Chrysler bucking the trend with sales rising more than expected. Still, U.S. auto sales last month probably were the slowest for August in 28 years as model year closeout deals failed to entice consumers concerned about the economy and their jobs. Back to you, Pim. Thank you very much, Liz Fobles, reporting from the New York Stock Exchange.